what is up it is your boy rg in other building and today no before we get into that first of all it has been a minute since i have done like a proper proper video like um i did obviously release my new intro which obviously i'll be using in this video if i can get it to work on my laptop and behind the scenes stuff T tmi tmi uh, obviously i did an update video where where i announced that once i hit 1k subs i will do a face reveal because a lot of people are not seeing me so there it goes but i think the last time i did like a proper video where i actually taught you guys something or did something was i think three weeks ago which is a while ago so Obviously, I'm back now doing videos again. It's just there some complications with IRL stuff, but I'm here now. If we hit, if this video reaches 50, 50? Yeah, 50 uh, likes, then I will do an in depth Sage Hushi Rubber Guide because, again, as we're doing right now, this is a how to play Hashirama so this is a new series I'm kicking off where I'm not really going to go in depth for the character I'm just going to talk about how to play the character so I'm not really going to be explaining how to do certain things especially because this Hashirama you need to know how to for example do a shadow combo with him but I'm not going to really explain how to do all of that I'm literally just going to solely focus on how to play the character expecting the people to know how to do it but if you want me to go over all of that stuff to do with the character in depth then let's hit 50 uh 50 likes on the video and i will do an in-depth sage hashirama guide too also before we start i am very close to 500 subs before my birthday being uh the 30th of may currently as we stand we are on 491 so only nine subs left so if you haven't smashed the sub sub button so i can hit that goal before my birthday it'll be a good birthday present and then we'll see if we can double that before the end of the year so we can hit that 1k and you can see my ugly ass face that being said without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> Okay, so firstly the first important thing that I want to mention mention about Hashirama is that Hashirama's moveset is pretty aggressive. He has a decent first hit, like his first hit is pretty quick. His um his air hit on block is pretty fast as well, so I'm gonna show off that right now actually. So he recovers pretty quick and he probably has one of the best mash in the game so you want to abuse that mash now when i say abuse that mash it's mainly his second hit and his third hit but you want to focus a bit more on his third hit for reasons that i'll explain why i'll talk about his second hit real quick the reason why his second hit is really good is because it has a back hit on it and it has some good has some decent range on it too it's like people can't people can't dash through this second hit if somebody dashes you they can't dash through this second hit right here they'll get clipped they'll also so it can also button up your opponent and it has a back hit too so delaying your first hit into the second hit is could be a good idea to throw out in the neutral um as well the main thing you want to be abusing with this Hashirama is this third hit, this long animation right here. The reason why is because there are so many options that you can do off of um, that third hit. So firstly with this with this third hit, if you're staying with him, you have options to dash stop into more mix up options from there. You can also shadow combo from this and because it's a long animation, um, he's able to like lock down your opponent for you to do what you want so you can go in from here you can do a jutsu if you've got like a, a ranged character on your team you can follow up this way like it allows you it gives you that opening to lock down your opponent that's what's annoying also because it's a long animation if i was to do a jutsu after it if i was to do a jutsu after it that could throw somebody off and especially because of how his jutsu is it is a 360 tracking jutsu so if somebody moves out the way or they don't get locked down they dash past you and he gets that jutsu out it will it can throw people off because they might not even know it's coming so disguising that as well in your combos is really good and obviously as you saw then when he does jutsu i can switch back into him too you can use this defensively offensively 
it's a really good thing to abuse you can even abuse it after wake up options as well so let's say or well, let's say you like madara does an air combo madara does an air combo right here if i can switch <laughs> so if madara does an air combo right here boom but it's really good using wake up options it's good at like dashing in as well so let's say you dash in like this and then boom like you can do that too um you know catch people slipping and stuff like that but so another thing that you can do regarding this third hit is that you can button lock your opponent by pressing counter so it's if you saw just then he stood for a bit and then held block it's because i'm button locking my opponent from here um now a good reason why you want to do that is one it keeps you safe because in this long animation right here knowledgeable players will sub you as soon as they realize you're doing the third animation third hit of the animation and then you're kind of locked in this thing now if i try and jump out you jump out here so obviously you do have options to counter like to cancel it or you have options to dash to cancel it too but you have to commit to something you know if you're trying to react to a sub whereas this way because you're, you're you can sub um counter switch just like that it allows you to stay safer um as well as button locking your opponent and it also button locks your opponent for just as long enough if you want to maximize your damage then it button locks them just long, long enough that to get a down pill and switch but you have to be quick you can't waste time with this see so see how i was a bit too slow and he blocked if you're fast enough i'm just gonna show you that once you see you gotta be quick but um you can get a, a down pill to maximize your damage switch and then continue the combo but again you gotta be quick now the thing about this hashirama which makes this button look also annoying is that they can also button lock you on guard so i can't show it to you but um but just because it's in practice mode but if you have a partner or anything like that a training partner let them block your combo like this as soon as you do it here so the exact same thing they'll be able to release their block but they won't be able to walk around like this that they can't do this for a brief second you'll see them try and walk around like you'll see them drop their guard they'll try and walk around and they won't move so if you have someone you can practice this with or let's say you have two controllers or something like that you can test it out for yourself but i can't and my second controller is broken so i can't really show you guys um here but you're welcome to test it out on um amongst yourselves too if you do catch somebody on no chakra and let's say you can't convert you do have options so you can go into his up combo and then do a directional jump and then keep going all right so um that's like a little infinite there they can throw kunai at this point in time as well so um that kind of throw you off in the directional jump and it can interrupt and obviously it becomes a kind of bit of a mind game but what you can do as well so like if you if you want to switch as soon as the dragon comes out if you counter you see how they're still stunned but i'm someone else so it locks you out of animation taking away that blue dash if i switch normally without the counter i'm gonna get a blue dash which i'm gonna get a blue dash right so to stop that blue dash if you counter switch the dragon will still come out and it, it opens doors for you to do anything for example if i want to tilt i can tilt you see what i'm saying and i can convert yeah so it opens look because they're stunned and you're still able to do whatever you want you can hit ultimate jutsus you can hit jutsus you can hit square combos you can hit tilts that that maybe you couldn't hit like let's say mother's tilt for example you don't really like hit mother's tilt in combos like that see that just boom boom you see what i'm saying so it just opens it gives you enough stun to you know convert to and they can't throw kunai so uh, abusing that is also well so abuse this third hit delay use it in the neutral use it with wake up options just use it defensively like if you're playing away like this you know you can just use it defensively which leads me on to his other um problem this jutsu is good again defensively if you ever have to retreat do this go back it is the most annoying thing to deal with it does give the opponent invincibility frames if you see when it gets hit by the first one none of the rest hit they all go through him it's because for a brief second they're invincible which means that you can't use this to pressure your opponent so you see how he didn't take any block stun there um from the jutsu so i'm gonna do the jutsu again you're gonna see madara's arms go through him 
See how it went past? You saw it went through just then? It's because that jutsu again it gives them invincibility frames but they can't be hit now it's not this part of it this part does nothing it doesn't give them invincibility frames you can keep going it's the part where it expands and they all go towards you and then see missed you see how the first arm missed that time so yeah so that's why you can't use this jutsu aggressively like you can't for example shoot this out and dash in like this and try and pressure their guard because it gives them that opening and they can interrupt you you want to use this to play keep out if you're low on subs or low on chakra you need to get something then you can use this to play keep out and get some chakra right that is how you want to use that jutsu not aggressively so in conclusion with that so he's a very aggressive character when it comes to his combos but when it comes to this jutsu specifically it's very defensive um i would say that this jutsu is better than the other one uh so this is the main one you want to use so you are going to end up picking him first which means that that's the item set on the bottom that is the item set that comes with him it's a pretty decent one like it has everything you need it just doesn't have a defense down tag if you had a defense down tag then it would be perfect but you know it's better to have this than the jutsu and it's not even a bad item set either but his combos are pretty aggressive in conclusion um and but his his that jutsu is defensive if you do choose to use the wood dragon jutsu which is still a good jutsu as well um then you can use this aggressively the whole wood dragon has a hitbox on it so even if he gets even if someone dashes it from the side then um then they can still get clipped as well so um i would recommend to do this jutsu because it's a better jutsu but if for some reason that you need to have someone else first the wood dragon jutsu is an unokay step down from this one um so yeah so i'm gonna so now i'm gonna show you like a little clip of like options from strike back options from wake up so like i said for use, abusing the second hit so options from strike up options for wake up options you could do after grabs as well you know with unique characters in unique ways um to kind of close up the video as well so it's not going to be a long one because like i said it's not an in-depth guide and this is the first one of the series but i'm just going to show you this clip just to close off the video and then yeah, so let's roll the clip. It's not over yet. Now's the time. Not over yet. Let's take this. You let your guard down. Take over for me. Let your guard down. Take this. Let your guard down. Take over for you. This is not over yet. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. In conclusion, the characters that I could recommend to use with Sage Hachirama is definitely this Madara right here, mainly just because of the pushback, so it sets up the combo buffer nicely for him. I'm just going to show you guys real quick. So see how it sets it up so perfectly because of the pushback, so any characters like that. Um, 
you know a character where you can be diverse for example i like daedra because if i was to use this then i can still set up my birds and go from here so any characters like that i'd also recommend like i said pain i recommend um minato i recommend toby rama like i'd recommend pit like um nagato is pretty good those are the characters that i would roughly recommend oh dunzo is another one dunzo and hashirama are a very good duo so those are the characters that i would recommend to play pair with him but all in all um he can fit in probably almost any team he's a character that i really like as well if i'm playing if i do choose to play competitive then it, hashirama would probably be my main um as i like both of them but he is an s tier character in itself so i hope you guys enjoyed the video again make sure to hit 50 likes to get the in-depth hashirama guide i'm gonna t i will talk about each and every one of his combos his tilt his grab i'll go literally in depth as well um also make sure to like make sure to subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed the video peace sayonara and adios